Hi everyone, my name is Britton Etheridge. I'm a second year student at the Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine. Here today with two of my fellow students to present our project about integrating a student co-created HSS curriculum within undergraduate medical education. So most people are probably very familiar with the two you know, basic sciences within medical school, the actual foundational sciences, and then the clinical component. But um, not every school is great at adopting those new and developing things that all kind of fall under health system science. And as our first paragraph says there, uh, a definition of health system science is that it's the study of how healthcare is delivered, how healthcare professionals work together to deliver that care, and how the health system can improve patient care and healthcare delivery. Um, and so we also found it uh, interesting that, you know, step one, as you see in the middle there, is about 15% specific to HSS, as well as COMLEX, which is the osteopathic licensure exam, uh, is 10%, and it's even, of course, more so for the second step within allopathic and osteopathic licensure credentialing. And so at our school, um, we have a course called the Foundations of Modern Healthcare, which attempted to cover some of these topics, but again, because it's so rapidly developing, had kind of been left behind. Um, and really, uh, our group formed specifically to meet the need of training um, all of the physicians to be able to be functional and effective workers in this rapidly changing healthcare environment. So we are using a systems-based hybrid lecture experiential model and writing the curriculum with our faculty members um, right now to begin implementing next academic year. And so we broke up based on the AMA um, health system science modules, 11 domains that cover all of health system science and are mapping one by one to the um, National Board of Osteopathic Medical Examiners as well as the double A com you see there in our second paragraph, basically the accrediting bodies for the licensure exams um, and for testing to map individual lectures and team based learning and experiential learning to help bridge the gaps, um, but to actually get to the nitty gritty of that I'll pass over to Michael Stedman. Yeah, so as Britton basically said here, the idea is that we're trying to, to help medicine and education catch up to the evolving healthcare climate. To the right of this poster here is a proposed example of that curriculum with a couple of those sessions highlighted here. Um, these sessions are a variety of activities. Some of them are, are done in a group setting where we'll have a, a short assessment before, followed by group discussions and case analyses. Some of them are formal lectures and others are take home activities. But the point here, is we're trying to engage students in meaningful ways so that they can internalize and understand these critical concepts of things like leadership and team building, things like communication, things like insurance and, and financial reimbursement, um, so that when they get into clinical scenarios, whether it's residency or their clinical rotations or even practice thereafter, um, they're aware of what to look for. Um, this is an incredibly uh, engaging project for us as the students. Um, it's taken a year and a half to this point. Uh, we currently have about four domains to go and work is to be done. Uh, for that work, I'll pass it to Ben Cruz to highlight our future steps. Hey, yeah, how's it going, everybody? Um, basically, like they hit on, the work that we have left is rounding out the domains, mapping the blueprint um, to what we already have and where we can fill those gaps to ensure that we're encompassing a total picture of HSS. Um, as well as, you know, how do we actually implement these lectures? Um, so we still have several meetings and several, uh, you know, work to be done with faculty until we can actually fully lay this out. But hopefully by the start of next um, OMS one year, we will have this laid out for a two-year curriculum integrating health system science into our foundations um, class. And uh, once we get that done, we are hoping to even push it on into third and fourth year um, clinical rotations so that you still have some applicability of actually using this knowledge and information while you're dealing with patients. Um, so very exciting and a very rewarding project for us so far. Um, and with that, I will open it up to any questions that you may have. 